Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just here today to do a tutorial of these little, um, you know, fold out kind of booklet things that I've made a few times lately in my journals. So basically, they are just using a piece of vintage ephemera. Uh, it's a copy of the vintage ephemera. And then I've taken some acetate and printed on, um, you know, various different images. And then I've attached it on, folded it over, so it's um, kind of in a booklet form. So you've got obviously journaling on the back and then on the front, it just makes the ephemera kind of slightly more interesting and just something a bit different to look at, really. Um, so that's that one. So uh, I've brought along a few different pieces, um, you know, to give a go. And my tools that I've brought along, I've brought my cropper dial um, and obviously some, you know, some eyelets. Uh, I've also brought along my stapler because not everyone's got a cropper dial and to be honest I often really struggle to actually set the eyelets so you know I don't know whether I'm the only person I know that I did here I think it was Gail um, Gail Costanelli she also said that her cropper dial she can't seem to kind of um, get to grips with it so that was encouraging that it wasn't just me so anyway we're going to do a couple of different styles or a couple of different kind of methods and um, yeah just have a play really so if we get started the first one I thought I would do um, it's this invoice here and it's a piece dated 1946 it's a copy that I've just coffee dyed and then I have taken obviously my printed um, butterfly here so, and obviously you've got the kind of shiny side or you've got the kind of printed side, which then kind of looks matte. So I actually quite like using the matte side. Obviously, um, you know, you can't always kind of gauge it because if there's text or anything, you just have to go with the side that, you know, the text would read. So, but obviously for a butterfly, you can, you can choose. So I'm going to go with the kind of matte side. And... This one actually is a um, slightly bigger butterfly to this one because obviously I'm putting it on this bigger piece of ephemera. So I've brought along a paper clip to kind of hold it in place. So all I'm going to do, I lay it exactly where I want it. Just going to clip it on to kind of hold it in place just to make it a bit easier to kind of punch the holes. And then I'm just going to literally, whoops, punch a couple of holes where I'd like them so I'm going to put one there and again I just kind of eyeball this I don't um, you know measure or anything like that and one there and then I'm going to take my eyelets so I might use this kind of um, copper colour and I'm just going to literally set them, or oh, well, hopefully I'm going to set them if my crop dial is going to play today. First one, and then the next one here. closing in a little bit more. Right, take my paper clip off and then what I'm going to do is obviously trim off the edge of the acetate that I've got kind of hanging over. So I'll just trim that so it's just in line with obviously the size of the piece of ephemera. And then what I've done, rather than fold this one first, I have obviously put the butterfly down. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit on the bottom with nothing there. So what I'm going to do is actually just fold it to the size of the piece of acetate 
and then if any needs trimming I can just trim it off actually would you believe it seems to be perfect um, perfect fit which that doesn't happen very often does it so um, it's it's slightly off but not too much so there we go and there is your kind of piece of ephemera there so I mean I just quite like these I think they're quite different now what I have also done once or twice um, or just once I think actually is take my string which as you know I love 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 using the string and then just for kind of literally just for interest you know it's not got any function or anything I just threaded it through kind of the two holes and then just literally tied a bow Oops. oh again I'm all fingers and thumbs here this is uh, not good doing sort of things that you need to be a bit delicate with on video because uh, it's not easy to do. Right, and then I'm just going to obviously cut the strings, cut the thread. So, you know, that's just got then something a little bit more kind of interesting at the top. And then it just folds over like that. You could obviously hold it closed with a paper clip if you wanted to, you know, or just have it kind of as is, really. So I think they're really fun and really nice to do. Um, so I'm going to put that one to one side. And then I have brought along a few more here. So I've brought along some tiny ones, and these are from my digital printable journaling cards that I um, created recently that are on my shop. And what I've done is obviously printed off a small, um, you know, image on the acetate that will just kind of fit neatly on there, kind of um, just like a frame. So I can set that to the side again with the eyelets. So, and I can obviously do that at the top or I could do it down the side. So I might do this one down the side i just take my paper clip again, let's just hold it in place and then take my crocodile, oops, I'm going to have to just cut this down slightly because otherwise it's not going to reach, so let's cut that in line with the journaling card, and I'll just put one here, and one here. Move my all punchies out of the way, and then get a couple of eyelets. So again, I might go for those copper-coloured ones. I need to do it a bit more rusting again, um, and rust up a load more eyelets and things. But I haven't got around to doing that yet. So uh, I'll just have to go with them as they are. Right. Line it up, squeeze it in, and then the next one. Ooh. Like that. Take my paper clip off, and then again, I will just trim around the acetate to make sure it's kind of the same size as the. Uh, journaling card there we go and that's that so again looks really cute and again I can take some string thread that through I mean as I say the string hasn't got a function or anything but it just looks ooh, super cute I think so um you know it's just something different and I mean obviously this one is not a folding booklet because obviously you know it's quite a small piece but what I thought would be quite nice to do with these once I finish tying it up I can uh, demonstrate is to kind of hook them onto a pocket um, let me cut the string 
Okay, so there's that. And what I thought would be nice, you see, is to actually hook these onto a pocket. So if I grab a piece of paper here, I'm just at my son's desk, so he's got some um, envelopes here. So if this were a pocket on a page and it was stuck down like that, I thought what would be quite fun is obviously you could then kind of double hook it like that. So then you've got the acetate piece in the front and you've got the other bit behind. You could obviously then journal with permanent marker onto the acetate and then obviously when you pull it out you've got the whole image which then looks really nice and obviously you could then journal on the back. So it's just something a bit different there. So you know quite quite like that. And then we'll just do kind of one or two more. So um, again, I'll use another one of my little printables. And this is kind of the sheet, you know, or a sheet of the images that I've printed. These were just from the Graphics Fairy, if I recall. And um, I'll just cut this roughly. Because obviously I will neaten this up once I've actually you know, attached it to the card. So again, it's just a small um, image there, which, you know, looks really nice over that um, journaling card. And then what I'm going to do this time, um, just to kind of demonstrate, we'll use the staples. And I'm just having a look. I don't really want to cover up the birds because what I thought we'd do is kind of staple and then we could stick some lace over the top so I will staple from this side so I'm just going to cut that down just so that it's smaller to get the stapler in and again I'll use the paper clip to kind of hold it in place where I want to staple it so about there like that and then I'm just going to staple and I'll probably just do three staples down the edge. And then I'm going to obviously trim around the piece of acetate. So, and again, when I did my last tutorial um, on the button, um, you know, the button with the Hessian kind of embellishments, and lots of people commented, um, you know, saying that they thought they were really cute and quite effective, but very simple. So hopefully you will find this, um, you know, the same, that they're very effective, but, you know, super easy to do. And again, a bit like the uh, buttons with the Hessian, I just think the possibilities are, are endless with these. You could really kind of, I'll just uh, mix them up, it's not very straight. Uh, the possibilities are endless with these because you really can go on and on and just like the buttons, um, you know, you could kind of mix up all different fabrics, button types and what have you. I think kind of the same with these because obviously, you know, you can use the staples, you could use, um, you know, you could use a brad in the corner so that it was kind of moving, um, which I had meant to bring a brad with me to be able to do that, but I don't think I've got any in here. No, I obviously forgot to do that. So we could do that another day, but you know, the possibilities are really endless. Um, so we could stick this piece of lace down the side, or I have actually bought some black lace um, along. So the black might look more kind of striking. I quite like the the black I will just kind of double double check I sometimes like the kind of striking combinations really yeah I quite like the uh, black so I'm just going to then glue that on so again I've brought my tacky glue along I'm just going to literally oops I have bought it along but I haven't used it today so now it's uh, not wanting to play Hold on. like this and I'll just cut that 
across there. I could have done with, again, some uh, board clips to actually hold that down. But anyway, I'm sure that's um, going to stick on there and it will be fine. Um, so, you know, there they really are kind of endless possibilities with these. So, you know, I really like that one. Um, we'll just do... <laughs> I'll just do one more because now I've started I can't stop really. Um, they're a little bit addictive, a bit like those button embellishments. So here I've got another um, invoice, different piece, um, which again obviously I've just coffee dyed this. And here I've got a large pocket watch. So obviously this is now folding, um, you know, uh, sideways rather than kind of top to bottom. So again, I'm just going to kind of place it where I want it. So there looks good to me. And then I'm going to hold it with the paper clip. And actually I might just staple this one again and then run some lace across this one too. So I'm just going to take that down a little bit so that I can get the stapler in. And then I'm going to just fold this over. Oops. I'm going to fold it over, which actually now I'm looking not quite big enough. So what I'm going to have to do is obviously trim the edge, so which is, is fine. So I'm going to trim this piece of acetate down. to trim down the side. Now I don't want to kind of um, end up spoiling the image too much so I'm just going to hold it with the paper clip. I'll just trim a little bit off. Just you know it doesn't have to be perfect it's just so that it's slightly less overhang on the other side. That's better. So you know Obviously, it still has a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. And then, um, I don't think I've made a very straight job of that either, so I should have to tidy that up. So I just quickly uh, need some of that. Pan. Again, very difficult doing these things um, on film. So I've got that piece, and then um, again, just like the other one with the staples, what we could do is obviously run some lace across the top. So I might go with the ivory lace on that one. So again, I'll just run some glue across the top. obviously been um, kind of craft starved over the Easter holidays. I mean I did obviously do crafting because I did manage to complete um, two journals but I obviously uh, you know didn't get to play quite as much as I would have <laughs> would have liked so I'm making up for it now. So there we go. So I mean I think that looks really pretty. Um, obviously you just Hold it a bit more there, and you've got obviously your journaling space inside there. And then, actually, what you could do as well, I've got kind of some flowers here on some fabric trim. You could even put a flower here on the pocket watch. Also, got some ivory ones, maybe that might be better. Do we like the black or the? I quite like the black, although it doesn't show up overly much. It looks really nice on that clock. So I'm just going to cut that off like that. You can pop that there and then could even pop another one kind of up on the lace. Oh, that might be overdoing it. That might be a bit too much. Um, so I will just glue this flower down on the watch. So 
super simple, but you know, really effective, I think. Um, and just really nice to use, you know, in the uh, in the journals. So, you know, but the possibilities are endless because you could obviously round the corners. You know, you could um, if you had access to a color laser printer or color printer. Um, I did actually. Yes, I don't think this was a laser printer. I'm just trying to think um, because obviously I've had a batch printing done that I paid for. Um, on a laser printer but I don't think this was part of it I might have done these at home um, which obviously I don't have a laser printer um, but if you had access to kind of a colour printer I don't know whether a colour you know um, inkjet would do the trick on the acetate or whether it would have to be a laser printer I don't really know but you know you could print colour acetate copies and things I mean I really think they are um, you know really nice in journals so uh yeah, I quite like them and, you know, they're obviously quick and easy to um, to do. I mean, we've just kind of done four there um, and obviously, yeah, they all look quite different in their own way, um, you know, and really, really nice, very effective kind of in your journals. So I hope you liked them and hope, um, you know, this was useful to you. So thanks very much for watching and have a great day. Bye.